I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fig or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the game I'm talking relationships Worth more than money Alright, we back Yo. Episode 22. That's, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, okay, 22, yeah. 22, we just had 21 with that's, JoJo. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. here for that, I should, I should so, have known that. the crazy part is, I just want to give a, a, a brief synopsis of how this all happened. CJ, we in his crib, it's dope, got the backdrop, everything crazy in here, bar over there, um, but I was talking to JoJo, and JoJo, you know, I asked her, I said, hey, I need you on a podcast. And she said, <sighs> all right. <laughs> she gave you the sigh? Yeah, she gave me the sigh. Like, <sighs> I don't like being in front of the camera. So I was like, come on, JoJo, I need you. I need more females on the pod. Yeah. She said, you know what? Just for you, I'll do it. So I said, bet. She said, oh, you know what? You should interview CJ, too. You remember CJ? And I was like, I said, the, the, the guy that got the Marine tattoo? She was like, I don't think he got no Marine tattoo, but. <laughs> How do you not know that? I said, no, he got, if you talking about who I know you talking about. <laughs> We always were around each other, taking shots, doing something. Oh, my God. So I was, she was like, well, I think that's him then. So I was like, bet. So, you know, I'm always good meeting people. But the fact that, like, I was like, damn, he's a Marine. That's brotherhood right there yeah, all, already. Uh. Then, you know, the hospitality. We get here. We like, you want something to drink? You, whatever. Whatever you want to drink, whatever you want to, whatever. Just get whatever. The fact that we are both from the Midwest. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I think that's that's the dopest part. Um cuz you know a lot of a lot of Midwest people we assimilate anywhere. You know what I mean? Anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. And I think it's dope to even just bump into a like a like-minded uh brother. But that's not even the most important part. The most important part is, bro, you on TV. <laughs> you you on TV and no. don't nobody. That's, that's, well, that's part of it. That's part. Yeah, that's part people part know, but the shows that you're on, yeah. I watch Law and Order, BT Her. Like I, I watch all of those shows, and I'm like, yo, I never paid attention until I went back and checked your IMDb that JoJo sent. So without further ado, man, to the left of me, oh, y'all know who I am. I'm Tweezy. To the left of me, who we got? CJ Williams, or just CJ, you know. So. CJ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, look, man, we, we just going to start it off like any like any other thing, man. Um, well, well, I, I got to start. First and foremost, I just want to say I, I, I appreciate, you know, um, uh, you having me on the podcast. Uh, having JoJo just forced my name into it, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's a great it's a great thing. It's the first time I've ever doing the podcast, but definitely um, uh, I, I appreciate um, you being here and me being able to watch it. Yeah. Uh, when JoJo was doing it first, and just, you just seeing how re- how everything was working out, I mean, it's dope, man. It's yeah, dope, man. Much respect. Appreciate it. Um, this this is uh, I want this to be a forever for everything. I don't want this to be just like a, you know, like a a segment or a segue to something else. Like I really do like sitting down and talking to anybody. Yeah, I mean, and I think I learned that from just being in the Marine Corps, because you know, like you go into boot camp. You with a hundred plus different people, you don't even know. Mm-hmm. You might go with a buddy system, you might not. But at the end of the day, you're gonna end up becoming family. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So especially going through all that together. Man, going through that three months, then a month of, you know, MCT, then wherever your your MOS, your job school hey, is. Hey, crazy. Do, do you know I didn't know that MCT was a thing? When I was done with boot camp, I thought I was done. Yeah. Like I thought I was going, you know. Just, just going, yeah, to going fleet. to, yeah, yeah. You know, not even to my job. And then I saw the video and it was like, hey, you know, after boot camp, Marine combat training. And I was like, huh? Mm-hmm. What, 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 what is that? You know, so right. that was a, that was a bit of a shocker. But yeah, because <laughs> you go home and you're like, damn, I got to come back in 10 days? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I had, I had, uh, I did the, uh, yeah, recruiter. Yeah, I had, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you hated your recruiter though. But see, I didn't know you was going to say it on the podcast. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, you know, hey, we he he, he didn't he, he wasn't call quite a spade a spade. He wasn't quite truthful with me uh, yeah. about uh, 
you know, some um, things about some things. So yeah. I, I'll say that. But yeah. shout out to my recruiter. Honestly, if I if I never would have joined the Marine Corps, I wouldn't be where I'm at now, man. It was the best thing that ever happened. That's so, facts, man. You know, That's facts. Cause my wife over there blowing kisses. Yeah. <laughs> That's facts, man. I mean, because if you think like, if you think about it, man, like we coming from, you know, rough environments. And you know, it's not the only environments that's rough, but we coming from two of the most known. Yeah, because you're Detroit, right? Yeah, Detroit yeah. and Chicago, man. Like yeah. everybody know about it. But at the same time, we we made a a sacrifice to leave home and build something better for for your not only ourselves, yeah. but for our families. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a, I got a question. For you. I know you're supposed to be asking me. No, questions, you can ask me questions too. Like, what was what was your reason to to actually go in? Like, what 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 sparked it? So, uh, crazy part, man. I had a, um, I was supposed to go to Norfolk State, play baseball. Baseball was my favorite sport. I played football, played basketball, but in high school, um, I was in baseball and just swimming. I ain't even, I played, I played football in ninth grade year, and after my grandma passed, I just stopped loving it. You know what I mean? So, and I was 4'11, crazy part. So Joe, oh, yeah, you believe, yeah, about yeah, that early. I was four eleven <laughs> to eleventh grade. So I didn't think I wasn't gonna grow. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna just stick with baseball. I know baseball for sure. I'm good in that height. So now, nah, man, I uh senior year coming around, um, Staff Sergeant Robinson, still remember his name, he was cool, cool recruiter. Um he would he would walk around, you know, you know the Marine dress blue uniform, man. He man, had on the deltas. The you uniforms out there. He had on the deltas, man. And uh he ain't say nothing to me, but I used to always see the army guy. Army guy bothering me. Hey man, hey Kennedy man, what's up man? You yeah. you want to come? Da, da, da. I'm like, no nah, man, I'm straight, I'm good. And um, just kept hassling me, man. Then one day he like the teacher. This way you can knock on the, the teacher's door and take a kid out of class, mm. and they they just give him away. Like here, go ahead, you can go with the recruiter, or whatever, and I let him talk to you. And I know more, because boy, I'm going to tell you, I was a recruiter, and they, ain't, they wasn't doing none of that. Wow. So he pulled me to the side, Staff Sergeant Robinson. He said, look, man, I already know you're going to Norfolk State. I know you're the captain on the baseball team. I know you got a bright future. But if anything changed, give me a call. Mm. So that right there, just off the break, he took his time to research what I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus yeah. the Army dude just hassling me all the time, just telling me to come take a test, and you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man. So I, I I took some some thought into it. Um, my grandfather was in the army. Both grandfather, my grandfather on my dad's side was in the army. Grandfather on my mom's side was in the air force and the navy. Oh wow! So yeah, he did military both. family. Yeah, man. and my uncle was in the army as well on my dad's side. So um, I had a bunch of family in the, in the military, and I was like. Man, the Marines, they, they be fighting them dragons. And <laughs> yeah, yo. Remember that commercial, yes, bro? Yes, yes. I'm like, we yo, get, right, yo that yeah. commercial was crazy. So I was, I told that's how I I said, man, y'all be fighting oh dragons, God. man. I don't know <laughs> if I want to do that, but that uniform tight, though. <laughs> and he was like, nah, man, that's just a commercial, man. We don't fight no dragons. So um, I wanted to be different. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? Um, I don't want to blame my, my, my mom, but like, I, I wasn't prepared to go to college. Mm. Like, I was a 3.5 student. Yeah. But I never took the ACT, AC, SATs until, like, last semester of 12th grade. Okay. I'm, I'm already behind. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she would just wake me up and just drop me off every Saturday to go take the, AC, the ACTs. I'm like, I ain't even studied. I ain't took no prep work, nothing. Um, So after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just gonna take the ASVAB. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't wanna, I ain't wanna, for one, I didn't wanna waste my parents' money because I, I just wanted to party. Cause I was tired, of, I was I'm tired of school. I, like the crazy part is, I never told this story. Oh, for those who don't know, ASVAB is one of the tests you have to take that yeah. you, before you. It's the military aptitude test. Yeah. And, yeah. Yep. Oh, so, well, yeah, you're a recruiter. You yeah. know, yeah. Yeah, you, you know. know yeah, I'll give you the whole rundown. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I never told this part of it, but um, I, uh, I pretty much was like, fuck, like, fuck, fuck school. And I almost got kicked off the baseball team and at, at all the teams because my last shit, my last semester, I had like a 1.5. I oh, see. So yeah, you fuck it. I had senioritis. Right. I ain't even gonna lie, I had senioritis, but I was done with school. Yeah. I had a one to four, I would go to school at eight, get out at 12 every day. So it was like, I, I, like, I was tired of school and I wasn't doing the work. Yeah. Because I, was, I knew. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm done. Mentally, you was checked out. I was checked out. Yeah. 
So I wasn't even trying to go and take the ACTs, but I just go and bubble in what I thought was the answers and send it in. I kept scoring 15s. Just abacadabra all the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. literally. A C C C C A A C. And literally, man, um, I kept getting 15s. I'm like, damn, I'm I'm getting 15s and I ain't even trying. Yeah. So uh I was like, you know what? Let me go take the ASVAB. I took the ASVAB, I scored like a 40, I scored like a 46. So I can't a, even remember as yes. a recruiter, you know, once you hit 50, you consider the alpha. That means you're a go to to okay. any military branch. If you score 50, you pretty much qualify for every job. But with my 46, I still qualify for like 100 and something jobs. Yeah. So I was supposed to be calm. And uh, when, I, when I was about to leave in January, like December, my recruiter was like, hey, we're going to have to push your, your date back. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm already mentally prepared to leave. Yeah. January 5th, I'm ready to go. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? 2004, I'm ready to roll. So he's like, man, the only way you can do that is you go open contract. So I'm like, what's open contract? He was like, man, it's pretty much like you're a free agent. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right. Go so for your left. No. <laughs> right. And I, and I swear to God, I thought I was going to be a grunt, man. I, I promise yeah. you. But I, I think I, if I did, I would have been straight because I ended up being Motor T and we with the grunts all the time. Yeah. All my deployments, I was with grunts. Um, infantry, for those that don't know. So yeah, man. Um, that was that was the, that's how I joined, and the reason why I joined is because it was like I, I just wanted to get away from home because mm. I knew. Yeah, it wasn't nothing for you back. Then. It wasn't nothing for me, yeah. bro. It wasn't nothing for me, and I knew like if I stayed, I'd be just some ignorant kid, not understanding, of being dumb, belligerent, fighting, stealing. You know what I mean? Shooting. So yeah. I said, you know what? Let me get up out of here because I already had like anger in me already. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. Yeah, I left. And that was the best thing, like you, man, the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, that's dope, what man. about you? Um, so I uh I went to Elmhurst College, a uh, private college in uh in Illinois. Um affluent neighborhood. Uh um it was I don't know the percentage of it was a high percentage of like Caucasian and then, you know, maybe it was like 10, 20 percent was like an amalgam of of different ethnicities. Mm. And uh Basically, I mean, it was. I went play basketball there. Um, Michael Jordan held his uh, children's camp there, so literally got to meet Mike, play on the same court as Mike. That's it, was, dope. Nah, it was wild, man. Yeah, that that dude was. Uh, he talks the most trash ever. Like, I've heard it's it's horrible. I heard. Um, um, but I digress. Uh, basically, my uh, my sophomore year. I ended up quitting the basketball team because we won the conference championship my, my freshman year, the first one in the school's history. Mm-hmm. Like, our gym is just full of banners of our... What school? Our, uh, Elmhurst College. Okay. Um, yeah. Banners, uh, every banner in the gym was like, our, volley, our girls' volleyball team was just ridiculous. Yeah. Those are all the banners. We finally got one up for basketball. But the next year, is just um, something changed with how our practices were. I guess they were just so amped about what we did the uh, year prior mm-hmm. that... Um, like the process just became, I don't know, it was just a little bit too much. Yeah. You know, and I wasn't having fun anymore. Right. So I told my roommate, I was like, man, I'm about to walk over to the uh the coach's office, let him know that, you know, I'm saying I'm done. <laughs> and little did I know, and forgive me uh, uh Wolf for telling this story, but uh my roommate, Dave Wolf, said his whole government name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the government. while I'm walking over there, he called over there and quit. On the phone. And I'm going to talk to them, like, face-to-face and right. stuff like that. So I walk in. They're just hanging up the phone, you know. And I'm just like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. I just, my heart ain't in it no more. I'm not having fun. Um, so I just think it's best that I, like, step away. Yeah. That's like, wow, it's like everybody's doing that now. And I'm like, hmm. It was like, your roommate just called and quit. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you gave him the heads up. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But. So the crazy thing about that, when I quit the basketball team, I didn't realize that what was keeping me in class, um, I went to Elmhurst College, I was a computer science major. And I thought that was, that's what my destiny was because, mm-hmm. I mean, I loved computers. I would build computers and all this other type of stuff, man. But once I quit the team, like, I stopped going to class. Like, yeah. that was the only thing keeping me, like, in class. Because I knew if, if, uh, if I didn't go to class, if I didn't pass, then I wouldn't be able to play basketball. Right. But once I was no longer playing basketball, I just wasn't mature enough just to be a regular college student. Right. And um, I just stayed on campus and I was just getting Fs. Dang. Fs. Living, living the F life. <laughs> yeah. 
And um, yeah. I remember, I remember um, my roommate, Dave, um, he was like, man, what are you going to do with your life? Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, it's like a movie. The Marine Corps commercial came on. I didn't really know nothing about the Marines. Dragon this dude drink. was climbing the mountain, Dog, took out a fight, sword, and it was a, like a fire-breathing dragon. I was like, I'm going to fucking fight a dragon. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that. Right. I'm hyped. You know Let's saying? do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I'm like, I'm going to do that. And then there was this one guy, his name was Lewis. He stayed across from us. And he just came out of nowhere. You know, he just spawned like it was Halo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, hmm, we'll never make it. I'm like, whoa, hold on. Like, right. any type of challenge, I'm like, nah, all right. Stop. So yeah. I was in a recruiter's office the next day. And I'm like, hey, you know, I want to join and stuff like that. You know, and it was like, all right, great. You know, they'll have you take the test, try to get you out in like a couple of weeks or something like that. S slow down. Yeah. That's that's too fast. Let's 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 talk a little bit more. Right. And but ended up uh, you know, taking an ASVAB. I can't remember what I scored, but I found out about the debt program, the delayed entry program. Mm -hmm. And um basically it can delay uh you leaving for boot camp. I think up to a year. Up to a year. Yeah, yep. and I think I took like seven or eight months. And um, yeah, and then and, and then I left. I just, it was, once I once I quit the team, I started falling back into a lot of bad habits. Mm -hmm. And I just, and him saying, what are you going to do with your life? It just struck something inside of me. And uh, I knew I didn't want to go back and, you know, um, and kind of be, I felt like I would have been a burden on my parents. You know, I have four older sisters. Uh, I'm the youngest child, only boy, yeah. you know? And I remember one of my sisters telling me, you know, saying my middle name is Jason. So it was like, Jason, you ain't got no job and all. Like, it just, I'm like, man, I can't, I can't yeah. be this person. And yeah, so I, I ended up joining the Marine Corps and honestly, uh, best decision that that I ever made, you know what I'm saying? My, my knees don't feel that way. <laughs> what was your job? You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I went in as an 015 one. So I, I went in as an administrator. Yeah. And, um, I gotta tell them why. You gotta have. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I Don't didn't know me. you yet. I didn't know you yet. But the recruiter was. Uh, he was like, you know, that's where all the women are and stuff like that. I'm like, bet. You know, saying send me the admin. Yeah. You know, one not one girl in my shop. Nope. You probably. <laughs> you, what, what uni you going to? I was at. Uh, I was at Third Mar Div, and I was with oh, uh, yeah. G One. You know, saying yep, so. Yeah. Um. Now one girl in my shop, and my gunny wanted it that way because he wanted to dispel the whole thing that. Uh, when if you're an admin that you're just like lazy and all this other type of stuff, this dude was a 300 PFT. Yeah, you know our shop average was like 285. Dang, you know so he he would sign us up for like um, relay races on Friday, so we can be tired and not do anything that night right. and stay out of trouble. Like this dude was you know a menace in a good way. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no, nah, but it was it was still it, it was great, but. Played basketball in the Marines as well. Um, so my basketball journey wasn't over uh, quite yet. However, um, that's when, after doing the whole admin thing for a couple of years, and I'm just like, you know. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found yeah. out about Marine Security Guard duty. Yeah. And and I volunteered for that, and I was able to get in and stuff like that. Did my training at Quantico, mm -hmm. and then had a great uh, uh, three years um, as a Marine Security Guard. Where, where all did you go? Did you go somewhere every year? Um, well, I was in, I was in, uh, I, I was supposed to, I was in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, um, for ain't, longer than I was supposed to be. Ain't that where the fairy eye parents live at? I don't, I, don't, I don't know who that is. You say who? The fairy eye parent. You don't know about that cartoon, man? Nah. CJ will tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, he'll tell you about it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but Tashkent was my first, uh, oh, that was my first post. We opened up that, uh, that, that embassy actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it was uh, basically it was Tokyo mm -hmm. after that because it was, should have been one one and one you know yeah. three different places but um, a whole bunch of stuff politics stuff was going on yeah and we weren't able to I wasn't able to leave when I was supposed to yeah you know how that goes yeah, uh, yeah. but but no again everything happened for a reason and uh, I had I had a great time there and uh, met a, met a lot of people um, and and then I ended up in Tokyo when I was supposed to um, and. There were people there that I networked with, and because of you know saying that relationship, you know it helped me you know saying get work outside once I was once I was done with the Marines. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, I, it was it was it was it was a great experience, you know. So, so how did how did you jump into acting? Out of all of the from from the the MSG to admin to basketball, how did 
acting jump in? Yo, I mean, it just kind of came out of nowhere, man. But let my mother tell it. This was always something that I was probably destined to do uh, just because uh, she... Like, there's videotapes, VHS tapes. Yeah. VHS we old, yeah, we old. kids, you know. Yeah. yeah. Not even DVDs. Yeah. And because um, I used to perform it at the assemblies in school when I was like in like oh, you're doing fifth, a talent show. fifth, sixth grade. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, we. Oh, so we. My, my, my wife's supposed to be working to making sure the, the back, screensaver the don't come on. Yeah. <laughs> Just press over. There we hey, go. And I go down and look. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Yeah, I, you Steve were, were so caught up in the story that you... Yeah, no, she forgot. Um, where, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I used to... Um, you doing talent shows? Or just I'm, doing... Just yeah, yeah, so performing like, at... Yeah, performing at the, at, at the school. It was like, all right, we got an assembly coming up. This is Black History Month. You know, we want you to do these speeches and stuff like that. And I was... Good at it, yeah. you know, but you know, as a kid, you're fearless, right? Yeah. So I'm getting up there in front of all these people and I'm memorizing these these speeches and I'm saying them with, you know, saying like such passion. Right. And um, it was crazy, but I didn't remember that stuff until like she showed me like uh tapes of it. I think I still got one, man. I ain't got a VHS, yeah. but you know, but you gotta convert it now. I know, man. I know. You gotta um, find a converter. But but how I got into it was basically we were staying in Haymarket, Virginia, and one of my neighbors who uh, was like an up-and-coming photographer, uh, Josiah Mendoza is his name. He's great, great photographer. He wanted to... Shout um, out to Josiah. I know exactly who that is. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Shout out Josiah, man. Um, he uh, he sent me a weird text message. And this is just how he and I talked. He was like, hey, I need your face. Oh. And yeah, yeah that's, this was before it was Paul. Yeah. But he was like, before hey, I need you. He sent, he sent yeah. hey, I need your face. You know, he, yeah. he sent that. That's that. That's the apple. That's the little apple <laughs> sin. That's the apple <laughs> sin for you Androiders. And I was just like, all right, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know. And basically, we did this like Halloween shoot, and um, he put the pictures out there on social media. And I remember him showing me the first picture, and I couldn't even believe it was me. Yeah. Uh, one of my neighbors, she she did the makeup and stuff like that. Uh, Karen Rodriguez, shout out, girl. Yeah, uh, great job. And um, yeah, it it, it was amazing. And I'm like, okay, this was dope, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, um, oh, yeah, Here, here's here's what happened. I ended up, I think it was, I was 29 or 30 years old. And I went to the doctor. I had I had a physical. And they was let, basically, it, the physical was bad news. Yeah. My cholesterol was uh, super high. My triglycerides were off the charts. I was in line for metabolic syndrome, which leads to heart disease and heart attacks and stuff like that. And the first thing that hit me was uh, seeing my father in a hospital. And I think, you know, I was very young. Mm-hmm. You know, and so was he. Right. And uh, and I'm just like, man, you know, this this type of stuff is I gotta watch out for this type of stuff because this it's it's in my genes. Hereditary, you know. Yeah. Um, so it scared me, definitely scared, you know, saying my wife literally went home, got rid of like all of our junk food, all the type of stuff. I got on a a workout plan and ended up getting in a little bit of shape, yeah. you know. Uh I got I got healthier. And the byproduct of that, you know, I was, I was fit, you know, so I ended up doing a fitness photo shoot with Josiah, shout out Josiah. And he put the pictures out there and the people was like, yo, you should model, you should, you should model, model. I'm like, you know, like, I don't know, but you hear it enough. You just you, like, maybe, maybe I should give it a shot. Put my pictures on his website called Model Mayhem. And oddly enough, the first person that wanted to work with me didn't want to shoot like photography. He was doing a web series. He was like, you look exactly like the character I'm writing, you know? Yeah. Why don't you come and do this audition? So I knew nothing about doing an audition. I was just like, all right. He gave me the uh, lines. I did the audition. He was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Um, you get to go. We're going to, like, I was a part of the project, right. you know? And that was literally, like, the first, my first gig. It was a, it was a web series. And luck, luckily enough, um, like for me, I'm, I'm I'm a sponge. Whoever I'm around, you know, especially if they if they know more than me, they've been in this industry longer than me. I'm going to listen to what they have to say. Yeah. And these guys, they were giving me all these gems and um, talking about different casting agencies that were in the area uh, because again, I knew nothing about this stuff. Right. So I just went all in because it was so much fun. It was a hobby in the beginning, mm-hmm. um, but it was so much fun, and I was finding success with it. And uh. It got to the point, and I'm I'm talking to you know, my wife Jessica about it. And I'm just like, you know, maybe maybe I might 
I try to take this, you know, seriously. Yeah. And and I did. And um I remember uh uh, I think what I'm trying to think what what was like the turning point. Um, I ended up meeting um, uh, Derek Gray. Uh, he's 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 a writer and a producer, and uh, it's like he was writing for my voice. Hmm. And he put me in some web series, and they really highlighted the type of actor and acting that because um, it was dramatic, and uh, it really highlighted me. And once he started putting this stuff out there, like he was really pushing his projects, right. so I was getting seen. And people mm-hmm. wanted to work with me. Um, so people would reach out like, hey, I want you I want you to be a part of this project. And that's one of the biggest things, networking in this industry. And I know you know, man, like yeah. networking is such a big thing in this industry. And honestly, it can be 90% of it if you're doing it right. Right. So people were talking about me and I wasn't even in that room, you know, but they was like, hey, you should check CJ out. Wow. So I'm getting calls from people that I don't know. It's like, hey, you know, so-and-so mentioned you, you know, like, I'm, so I got this project going on. I would love for you to be on it. And... It was a lot of times I wasn't even auditioning anymore. Damn. You know, so, um, and then it, it got to a point where I ended up booking a job where uh, it was a SAG, it was a SAG commercial, a union commercial, and it was with Olivia Munn. And I didn't have a big part in it, you know, but I was still, my likeness was being used, so they considered me like principal. Mm-hmm. And I became eligible to join the union. And um, that eligibility, once you start putting it on your resume, you know, that, 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 that means a little bit. And uh, it was just, I want to say, part, it was a lot of preparation and a lot of luck mixed, mixed in both. Um, and, like, opportunities would come around where it would just be, like, a, a co-star role on, like, a TV show. A co-star with a TV show means you probably have, like, five lines or less, but you'll probably be in the scene with one of the uh, main characters. Yeah. And so you, you'll, you'll get seen. And... Trying to remember what my first one was. It was it uh, was it dope sick. Yeah, I ended up getting an audition for a TV show called Dope Sick on mm-hmm. Hulu, starring Rosario Dawson, Michael Keaton. You wow, know, uh, the original Batman. Yeah, yeah, and uh, um, being directed by uh, Barry Levison, who did Rain Man. Um, and I'm on a Zoom call with these people. Wow, you know so. And then get it. So it's as far as to, you know, saying become a domino effect. So mm-hmm. you get on one and a lot of it helps when you when you market yourself as well. So being able to get these clips and then create a reel and, and put it out there so people can see it's like, oh, this person does this, this and this. OK. All right. You know, let's maybe we'll, we'll give them a shot. And other casting agencies wanted to uh, like work with me and sign me. So um, so that happened. I, I I talked to a friend and 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 um they they hooked me up with a time ta- with a casting agency um that that uh, a talent agency that they were with you know and uh honestly Mossby Talent Agency I I got to give them a shout out because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have uh um they got me auditions for uh Godfather Harlem nice um in that same year a couple of months later they sent me an audition for Law and Order. And later on that year, I got audition from the same uh, talent agency, Father the Queens, man. And I booked all of them. And, and Father of Queens is the one. All the Queens, all, all the Queens, Queens man. Yeah, Queens with Tyler is, Perry. Yeah. yeah, with Tyler Perry. And that's the one you got like a lot like of nine episodes. episodes. Yeah, nine, nine episodes. Um, um, man, that was crazy, man. Yeah, you was telling me. So, yeah, let's talk about that. Because you was telling me how the other shows... How the the way they they prep is not the same as Tyler Perry. Now Tyler shoots fast, man. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Mr. Perry. Sorry, sir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he he shoots fast, and I remember, um, uh, the I think it was like maybe like the third or fourth day, but I remember telling uh, my wife, I'm like, man, I kind of feel like a fish out of water because uh, I wasn't used to that speed. Mm-hmm. Uh, quickly got used to it, and. I found that like if you if you were gonna uh, pick a moment, you know, or um, with your with your character, then or some type of option that you wanted to do, mm-hmm. make it a strong one and a bold one because it might be the only one that you okay. that um, that you get, you know, in that take, and because they might move on right after that, unless right. there's something drastically wrong, you know, 
they're probably, you know, going to move on. So I learned that and then because and, and I got I got comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, but this, the crazy part of it is uh, I was booked on a Thursday. Um, Saturday, they sent me like eight episodes. Dang. And I was on set Monday. And you had to learn all of that. Yeah, I mean, so you you get a warm and fuzzy of everything that you know, saying of yeah. of, of the scenes, and um, they'll let you know, like you'll get the call sheet of what they're gonna shoot um, the day before, and then you kind of hone in and and focus on those because uh, right. you know you're gonna you're gonna shoot those like the next day. So um, luckily for me, I, I memorize lines like very easily. Mm-hmm. But it's one thing to memorize it; it's another thing to make it believable. You know, since right. delivery, so. Um, uh, I felt like I was able to do that, especially seeing uh, all of the chats and stuff, um, chat rooms on Facebook, and and uh, <laughs> even some people who was hosting podcasts after, like they'll talk about the show. They really hated my character, like they hated me. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and just talking about me with such vitriol, like, and I loved it because mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm doing my job. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my job. So, um, no, nah, it was it, it was great though, it, and I saw him. Like half a second, like came. Yeah, I'm seeing this tall guy. You know, what I'm saying he dapped me up and stuff like that. Action, <laughs> just like that. And we getting and we getting into it. You know, because that man, that man's busy. He's yeah. just cranking out all these shows. Um, but he still pops over. You know, saying directs some scenes. Maybe you know, uh, maybe a whole episode. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, he, he he shows up for the work. That's dope, man. What um, what do you think is your favorite episode? Or a favorite show that you've done so far? Man, that's tough. Um, it's honestly like, so Law and & Order and, and working with Tyler Perry, w- both were on my bucket list. And, 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 they, and they happened in the same year. Um, I had no idea that, uh, that I was going to, when I did Law & Order, that I was going to meet, you know what I'm saying, like Mariska. I had no idea. And... I find myself in the scene, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, with her. And she's giving me pointers and, and stuff like that. It was just the most amazing thing ever. So that's very high on the list, you okay. know. Because, you know, Law & Order been on since the day before forever. I think I think I was maybe like... I, only, I can only... You was in somebody's belly when and it was still... That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I think that dream might have been before me. Because I remember the 90s, it was New York Undercover and yeah. Law & Order. Oh, New York kind of... Yeah. Nah, you know, I had cable, dog. So, you yeah, know, I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, had it too, but it was like I had our UPN neighbors. and Channel 4. You know what I mean? UPN. That's all I had. You know what I mean? You pick a new. No, yeah. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So, okay. So, those two. Um, let's, let's, let's talk about this, this person, this partner that's been there with you through all of this. Now, like, my mother's great. She just, yeah. <laughs> 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 my wife out <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to bring her into it. She he, he playing. Oh man. She take the earrings off. She take uh, the earrings off. The, but yeah, man. My uh, time Jess, agent. Yes, Jess. No, no. <laughs> Jess is a uh, super dope. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, no, man. How y'all uh, meet? Oh wow! Do I get to tell the story? I don't know. I don't like what what what's the rating on your podcast? It like, is. No, it's, <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever. So basically, this is what happened. Oh, um, the voice no. change. <laughs> The voice changed. No, um, so I was, I was, I think I was in Uzbekistan. I can't remember. Um, but I was overseas. I know that much. And she worked with one of my sisters, one, one of four. Um, and my sister has this picture of me and my nephew on her desk. And, and he has like my Marine Corps uh, barracks cover and stuff mm-hmm. like that on. And I'm sitting there smiling by him and stuff. And she walked by. And apparently, from what I heard, she fainted. You know, <laughs> passed out. Is that, is that true or false? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. that's, that's, that's not true. That's not but true. She, she saw the picture. She was just like, was like, oh, your brother fine. True. All right, there we okay. go. So, I mean, I heard about this, you know, like later. Mm-hmm. You know? So, you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what was up. But I ended up coming home. And um, and I went to my sister's job and stuff like that to see her and, you know, and just pop up and say what's up. And I think Jessica might have been like in a meeting or, or, or something like that. And... This is the crazy thing, you know, like, uh, <laughs> after I left, I guess everybody was like, you just missed him, you know, like, yeah. I, like, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
That, I mean, that's that's kind of cool to hear now, you know. But I weighed like like 175 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, it's I have confidence now. I didn't have that much back then. I, I I'll be honest so about he was that. A twig. You know. He was fine to you. Uh, that's all that matters. Uh and um, but basically, like uh, my sister was like, you know, what you what you want to do? And I'm like, well, you know, let's 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 go to dinner. We can go to dinner and stuff like that after, after work or early dinner. And she wanted to know where I wanted to go. I'm like, well, you know, Hooters is, you know what I'm saying, or was my favorite uh, restaurant. They got great wings, <laughs> they guys. Do. They do. Calm down. They do. They, no buns, but they, great wings. That's, that's. <laughs> great wings. <laughs> great wings. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying well, to learn, just, you know. I, I like, I like the, I like, yeah, I, I like, I like their chicken. I mean, you know? but this before Buffalo Wild Wings and, and yeah, I didn't know anything about B Dubs or anything like that, you know. Um, you know wing stop, you know yeah. What I mean, I, mean I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't know that stuff. Yeah. Um, but so like a bunch of us went over there, mm -hmm. and um, uh, and she told me later that she didn't even feel like you know saying like going or anything like that, but she she ended up uh showing up, and I remember we pulled up. And uh, I looked over, and she was like on her phone, and uh, and, and, and soon as she looked over to me, whoever she was talking to, she was like, "I gotta go," you know, true, you know, what I'm saying. And then and she hung. I'm not gonna tell the you okay. know, say, I'm not All gonna right. embellish the story right, right now. All right, you know, usually I say she threw the phone out of her car, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but now nah, she 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 hung up the phone and stuff like that, and, and like canceled the service. And but <laughs> canceled the service. It's like, oh, nobody singular, calling me. Yeah, singular. Remember, it was singular. Before I used to work for singular. That's crazy. <laughs> used to work for singular. I had singular before they switched yeah, to AT&T. Yeah, I used to work for singular, yeah. man. We're not going to talk about nah, not, they scratch talk that. About that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch them. Um, uh, and then, you know, she was walking up and stuff like that. And I'm asking my sister, I was like, yo, what's, what's, what's the deal with Jessica? What's up? She's single. And she was like, I don't know. She was like, Jessica, you single? And the most Thirsty and stuff came out of her mouth. She looked at me. She was like, "All day, every day, <laughs> all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day." I was like, "God, dang. yeah." Man. But um, I'm like, "Okay, Ooh. you know what I'm saying." So we go inside. We sit at this big, you know, what I'm saying long table and stuff like that. And uh, my sister is sitting to the right of me. There's an empty seat to the left. And then, but there are other people beyond that empty spot. Mm -hmm. And then you got other people on the other side. And I'm looking. I'm like. Why like why is there this huge gap right here? I'm yeah. like I'm like what are y'all afraid to sit by the big bad marine? What's going on? And I look across the table. Jessica is smiling like she got a hanger in her mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like the Joker, <laughs> you know. And she's like, "You want somebody to sit by you?" And I'm like, "Girl, go ahead, get over here, man." So she slides across the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to, to to get over to get over. There. Okay, she didn't she didn't. Oh, slide. I'm about to say, dang, Jess. She, she didn't slide, but she did. She did yeah. move with haste. You know, what I'm expeditiously. Yeah, yeah. She expedited expeditiously. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So get so over quickly. there very quick. Your lateral movement was fantastic back then. You know what I'm saying? You don't get enough credit for that. And I want to give it to you right now. Yeah, you know a lot of movement flowers. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. But now she got over there pretty quick and um and she sat down and stuff like that. But and I just like, you know what I'm saying, put my hand down by her hand and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And uh playing handsies, not yeah. flissies. And look, I'm trying, I'm trying to be romantic at, yeah. at, 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 at Hooters. Yeah. So the lady, no you know buns. what I'm saying? The lady brings the plates down and stuff like that. I'm like, no, nah, we'll just have one plate. What, what we said. what are we putting these bones at? You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even think about that, man. But you know, we shared the plate and stuff like that. And uh afterwards I walked into a car. I think I kissed you on the forehead and I told you I want to take you on a proper date. And um not nah, Hooters. No, 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 Hooters. Uh, so we set a date and stuff like that. And I think two days later, we're supposed to go on a date. It was the next day. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm legit. And this is, this is like real. It, I know it sounds fake, but so I was in, uh, I was in Bible class. I was in Bible study. And it went long because, you know, you can't put a time limit on the Holy Spirit. No, you, can't. you don't, you don't do that. Especially you know if saying? it's an older person holding their Bible. Yeah, stuff. man. It was just it was a bunch of black people. And that's all yeah. you need, you know, say in the yeah. basement. So it wasn't, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you know, was God has to, so yeah, it got, it <laughs> yeah, got it was kind comfortable. of <laughs> it was comfortable. Yeah. It was getting, it was getting crazy, and I'm looking at the time. I'm like, God, you know what I'm saying? God, you know, come on. And um, so I ended up getting out of there. I call. I'm like, yo, you know, uh, uh, I'm late and stuff like that. So I, I apologize. I stopped, bought a bottle of wine to, you know, saying as as an apology to give to her. And how old was you at this time when you buying a bottle of wine? 
But see, I, I was on I was on the Marine Security Guard program, and you know we have a yeah. dinner with ambassadors and right, everything right, like okay, that. So okay, it, that it, makes it sense. changed my whole. Because nigga yeah. like me, I wouldn't I wasn't talking about no wine. I don't yeah, like wine nah. now. I'm like, I'll get a nice Pinot Noir. I got just, her. Uh, <laughs> I would have got her MD 2020. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, not the Mad Dog. The MD 2020. That thing costs like $2.99 or something like 99 that. 99 bananas, yeah. whatever oh, one. Oh, not the, oh. Come on, man. Oh, you taking me back, yo. Come on, man. Jeez. Or the squeeze bottle pop off. Hey, what was that? The squeeze bottle $10 military liquor we should get from the uh from the PX. I didn't you ain't those. never get the squeeze bottle? Nah, I, I was thought it was like five, ten dollars. I was drinking, I was drinking Heineken's, which I hate now, by the way. Yeah, I can't stand, I can't stand beer. I, it's only I because I drink too, too, too much, you know, yeah. too much up. I, I shouldn't, that was in the Marines, guys. I no, no. He got a whole bar over there. Yeah, but <laughs> I, do, I do. I do. And it stays full, though. Full. Anything it's, you want. It's yeah, anything you want. Anything, anything you want. Anything you want. You want. I don't, I don't, I don't be getting down like that. And he got so the much. seltzers. Yeah. I'll be running through those tonight. Man, man. They, man, they had to go get another pack, two packs. <laughs> that's this like the third time somebody made a run, right? Mm-hmm. But um, uh, yeah, so I show up and like she like. She looking real comfortable. I'm like, we ain't going out no more. You know, she was like, ain't nothing open. Come back to my house, my apartment. I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know. So we 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 drive, we, we go back, I follow her back to her apartment and stuff like that. I'm sitting down and we having a conversation, and you know, um, she 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 got on love and basketball. She put love and basketball Ooh. on. Literally, literally the hit play. It was just like Quincy uh-huh. McCall. Not the, the Maxwell. Oh, you had yeah, it set up. You had it yeah. set up. I was just nah. It was yeah. not from the beginning, man. It was the part when they was about to do some stuff, and you know what I'm saying. She looked down. You know what I'm saying. He looked down. He was just like, you know what I'm saying. And Maxwell was in the background. I was like, okay, I I see what's happening here. You know what I'm saying. Like, Dang, I shan't be molested on this date. You know. Wow. So so I'm like, all right. She got she got that going on. We started talking and stuff like that, and. Um, um, in the middle of my conversation, in the middle of talking to her, what's that? Okay, anyway, in the middle of talking to her, she may have had a glass of wine, but in the middle of talking to her, she just decides, you know what? Who's going to kiss this guy while he's speaking? Mm. So she just kisses me. I'm like, oh, wait, wait woman, calm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, like, yeah. hey, hey, this is not... This ain't this ain't the you time. Know, like my mother wouldn't have pla- you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't did you not kiss me? <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. She said you lied, but she just, uh, yeah. just admitted. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I like I, I kissed her, you know, I kissed her back, yeah. you know, but it, it did catch me off guard because you know, I forgot what we was talking about. I'm pretty sure I was talking about scripture or something like that. You know, and yeah. I was like, Ephesians, you know, like <laughs> she's like, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying. It'd yeah. be fruitful and multiplies what you was. But uh anyway, <laughs> so it was very hot up in her apartment. Mm-hmm. At this time, Jessica used to keep her heat on like 97 for some reason. Wow. You know. So I was like, and and I noticed how, how this is gonna sound, but this is the truth. I said, hey, can can I can I take my shirt off? Oh, you did the tank. You know, so I, uh, no, I had a t-shirt on under it. I had oh, a whole okay. t-shirt on under it. You know what I'm saying? And, but it was still, like, in the background. The skivvy shirt. You know, that was still yeah. going on. No, no it, was a, it was a regular T-shirt. Regular joint. Yeah. And, um, and then we still talking stuff like that. And I'm like, man, it really is hot in here. Can I take my pants off? Dang, you hit her with that? She okay. said, go ahead. But at this time, I was still a hooper. Yeah, I had so on had basketball, basketball shorts. shorts. Yeah, yeah, I always got yep. on basketball shorts. I always had on basketball yep. shorts. I wasn't I won, I won no nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Do I continue this story? Okay, yeah, let's go ahead, continue it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so, and that's how we met. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. Oh, no? Okay, I'm going to keep going then. So basically, I asked her, oh, my son just walked in. We're going to end the story right here, guys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> but no, how, how, um, how important it is to have a partner when you're going through, you know, Military and acting career and your career now. No, I, I would not have. I wouldn't have accomplished the stuff that I have thus far if if it wasn't for her. You know, and honestly, uh, it, it's just there were plenty times. You know, if I'm being honest, there were multiple times where I wanted to quit. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, this 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 industry isn't for the weak. Um, and it was tough uh hearing all the no's. Like you had you have to build like tough, like thick skin. Mm-hmm. And um she would send me clips and like text messages and stuff like that, you know, and it was just like memes from Instagram about like how uh how long it took Sam Jack to make it, you know what I'm saying? But but he made it, you yeah. know, like just just all these different things of not quitting, staying the course, mm-hmm. you know, and uh and if you like continue to believe in yourself, like stuff will pan out, man. Like she was literally pushing me when I was telling myself, like, man, this is kind of tough. And I just, not that it's just being tough, it's just like those no's are it, it really takes a lot to get over. Right. And um having her, you know, encourage me and then realizing that it's just that's part of the industry. Um it, it it helped a lot, man. And I mean, even even now, we still, you know what I'm saying, uh, we, I, I, I go through it because, you know, things are still tough. I mean, obviously, I want to blow up and just yeah. and, and just be there, man. And But she's always like, hey, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 it'll happen when it, when it happens. Um, I get these crazy auditions all the time, and she's the one that's reading them off screen, you know, reading the other lines off screen for me. And um, um, so, yeah, she's, man, she's she's been there. Uh, been there for it all. Um, I was happy when I was able to take her to like a red carpet and stuff, man. Like, and I don't know, like we've sat down and had discussions about that. It's just like, I'm like, I dream about being able to, you know, have her at, a, you know, saying an award show, you know, and receiving an award and just giving her, you know, saying all her flowers for, you know, saying how she's, how she's helped me. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, 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 it's definitely important, man. I mean, I know people can, can uh can like go through it without like yeah. someone man, but I don't see how I would have been able to do it without her. So yeah, that's um, super dope, man. And, and I think too, man, like you definitely gotta have a partner that's gonna motivate you. Cause sometimes, man, when you when you going through it, especially Marines too, you feel like you can do everything, but you know, like you, they definitely give you give us that mindset, they definitely which give I you that appreciate. Mindset. Yeah. And, and, and I never never neglected to keep trying. Yeah. But it's like you just keep hitting that wall and you're trying to hit the wall and it's like, damn, man, like, <laughs> keep hitting that 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 no wall. Like, yeah. they're telling you no. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, you, as long as you got somebody there, yeah. you know what I mean? That's going to encourage you to push you. to keep, yeah. Hey, keep going. Keep going. I know, because I seen, I think it was a, um, it was like a meme or something I seen where a guy was digging for gold, right? He dug so far and didn't and stop digging and he left. And the other guy came and just hit it one time and he struck yeah, gold. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how it is yeah. with, with us, you as, you know what I mean, your acting career, me, music, and everything else. Like, we there. We we just got to keep digging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep going. And having your partner just, you know what I'm saying, that's super, super dope, man. Because, I mean, everybody don't get that. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, yeah, absolutely right, man. It's like I re- I remember um I was doing a lot of uh I had audition for House of Cards, like I don't know how many times. And I did I was Cards Fire too. Yeah, I was an extra in the third season and stuff like that. But I ended up uh getting super close on the last season. And and then, you know, saying the whole Kevin Spacey stuff happened, and you know, they kind of released a lot of people. So yeah. I was at my tipping point at that point. Uh, and I really wanted to quit um, because before that, I had auditioned for uh, something for Netflix that Pharrell was supposed to be doing. And um, uh, it didn't pan out, you know. So all this stuff well, I thought was going to be, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, career changing, it just kept slipping away. And I know, like, I know now this is how, like, the industry is. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it is, and, and it's tough, man. But um, like literally, she was telling me just just keep going, you know. She's like, I know, I, I know, I know. You know, saying you upset, just you know, just just keep trying. It's you know? coming. She's like, don't don't don't. I forgot what you 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 kept telling me not to make a uh, a uh, a rush decision because I was like, if I don't get it, like I was giving myself, if I don't get it in this year, you, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I was giving, giving myself emotional a deadline. Yeah, I was giving myself a deadline. She yeah. kept telling me not to do that, you know. And had had I done that, I like the deadline I was going for. I wouldn't have been on any of the shows or any of the stuff that, that that I've done, man. And 
I'm just glad, you know what I'm saying? So I, I thank you uh, for that, babe. I, I, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know you you appreciate the residuals. Oh, go ahead, next one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. The residuals always look nice. Hey, man, Um, before we get out of here, would you, what you think about, like, if would you would you do a role on uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, I would love it. I would love it, especially man. House of Dragon. Now, you know, they, 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 they got oh black people God. on that, man. man. They got um, black people with the Valerians, like, yeah, man. Yeah. With the, with like, the, the blonde dreads. Yes. Yo, that's my yeah. show, man. Yeah. They said it's going to take like a whole nother year to, for, the, for the next uh, season to come out. I See, I haven't even watched the second one. It's crazy. I heard. I, heard. I just I finished got, it. I got, I got to get on it. I mean, I'm the only person in the house to really get down on this type, this type of stuff. For so. real? Really? She's oh, yeah. just... Man, cap, just ain't nothing. But a whole cap like baseball that. cap, yeah, whole cap. <laughs> Dang, you gonna do that? No, no, no. That's not true. That, that is not. What true. about Vikings? You ever seen Vikings? I, I haven't watched Vikings. Man, you know, Vikings is fire. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like so. You remember how like uh, House of Dragons? They were what? They were in England? Where were they at? I don't know. So the Vikings. They're from Norway and okay. they're they're invading England, but they're learning how to like navigate in the sea, uh, Ragnar Lothbrook and stuff. And so, like, bro, you gotta watch it. It's super dope. So it looked good, man. Bro, like, yeah, the, the amount of like the whole cinematic everything looks yeah. so. I watch that any day over it's like a certain well. movie. Yeah, it's done very well, man. And it's like it's just kind of the same thing. Like they got different families. Yeah. Um. And they got one king, but the way they do things, they don't, they they go, they go worship the God instead of, you know, Jesus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they go to England and they pretty much raid England. And the first place they, they get to is where all the priests at. Right. Yeah. So it's crazy, man. Okay. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna you got to watch it, out, man. man. I, I, and he leave, he take one with him back that can speak their language. Okay. And they become the best of friends. And like it's dope, man. But it's it's like they still going back though. So they like going back and forth. I got and he's just a fisherman. He was just a fisherman, but that knew how to, you know what I mean? He had a best friend that was a a, a boatsman that know how to make boats and they had to figure out how to like explore land. They never could find land. And then they finally had like this little compass uh -huh. and it helped them find that land in England. I, I, I knew I should have checked, man. Yeah, it's, it's, so, dope. it's so many things. I love that history. I, that, That's why that I like it. Okay. You know I mean? It's so many, it's so many good shows out there. That uh, I need to watch it and finish, man, because I still haven't finished Suits. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't even started. Suits is dope. Is it? Why, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, suits, I'm being uh, honest. Like, yeah, yeah I ain't no, gonna be like, yeah, I seen suits, it. No, suits, I ain't. suits is dope, and, yeah. and the writing that's the writing is amazing on that, man. Um, uh, and I'll, if you have Apple TV Plus, I ain't trying to plug any type, but you know what I'm saying. But presumed innocent. You got login. I will get your login. Presumed. Yeah. <laughs> presumed. <laughs> Presumed Innocent with uh, uh, Jay Gyllenhaal. Uh -huh. Probably one of the best crime thrillers I've seen in a long time. Presumed um, Innocent? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it, uh, it's dope. Like, we usually like to binge watch stuff, but we was waiting, like, a w each week. Yeah. It's killing us. Killing us to wait that long. That's why I hated House of Dragons, because I actually yeah. waited. Normally, I wait and binge watch. I watched them every week and I'm like you can't do this so my Game of Thrones journey like I was I was three seasons late I started when it was already three seasons in yeah. I, I I think I watched the first episode and I was like I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight because yeah. I'm about to watch the rest of these I just I just binged it yeah yeah. Don't, see those type of shows you have to yeah because it's like you'll watch it for a week and then you'll be like damn I need to go back and watch it what happened at this part yeah. you know what I mean so if you binge it it goes all the way through man but yeah that's super dope um, what's next? Um, thank you. Uh, so I just got booked for a, um, a feature film, an indie feature film that's uh, filming in West Virginia, actually. Uh, and I start shooting on the 16th. Nice. Um, so nice. I'm excited about that. I'm be back on set. Um, uh, and... I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to be back on set. I've I've done a couple other things this year, but it's been mainly like um, you know, modeling and uh, uh some some hand modeling out of all things. I just I just you never like saw this. that for myself. No, but it's dope, man. I mean, I got to meet um uh, That's what you gotta do. What you you do yeah, stuff no, like facts. that? Yeah. I, like I did a Jared uh uh jewelry commercial and I, I was putting this the, I was putting the necklace around this girl's neck, you know what I'm saying? You know, and And it was just your hands. So none, just no, my hands, dang. man. Um 
That's crazy. Uh, and then I did a Grey Goose one with uh, Francis Tiafo. He's the tennis player yeah, from, from I, yeah, Maryland. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, he cool just dude. lost too, man. Yeah, shout nah, out to yeah. Shout out to Tiafo. Shout, shout, shout out Francis, man. Yeah. Really, really, really cool cat, man. I got to, I got to meet him on that on that shoot. And uh, nah, man, he's cool. You know, confident, humble yeah. but confident. You know, yeah. so so man, it's 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 been dope. But I'm always itching to um, get back on set, have a screenplay to read and stuff like that. So all right, um, and that's coming up, man. So dope. So make sure y'all check out CJ, man. But before we get out of here, we got gym class, man. G E M, the gems that you can spread th- throughout the world and give to anybody to take and put in their toolbox. What's a gem you can you can give to the people out here? Um, I guess this one's this one's kind of a, a, a personal one. I should I, I should, because uh, don't compromise um, on your morals for uh, for the uh, for believability of success. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is the fact that um, there were there were certain. Uh, uh, it was like certain roles that like would come my way mm-hmm. and I struggled on whether or not I should do them um, because morally it didn't, it, it didn't feel right. Yeah. And um, I'm just like, man, passing on this, I could be, I could be shooting myself in the foot, you know what I'm saying? As far as like furthering my uh, uh, career. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's just honestly, you have to be able to sit with yourself. Yeah. Um, so if I were to, if I were to say anything, it, it would be that, yeah, just make sure, you know, you don't, you don't compromise your morals in the process, man. If you can stay true to yourself and still be able to uh, um, do your passion and, you know, and, and trace and chase, chase your dream, I think that's the best thing ever, you know. Don't compromise. Yeah, don't, don't compromise your morals. And don't definitely compromise. don't quit because honestly, man, the, the many times that I, I wanted to stop acting just because of all of the no's. And when I, I tell people all the time, um, because they have questions about acting, I'm like, if I tell you how many times I, I've heard no, it'll discourage you. It'll discourage you from trying. But it's part of the process. You have to learn that it's going to be a part of the process. Develop that tough skin and just keep trying because you get that one yes. I mean, it makes all, all of the difference. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of no's this year because the industry has been slow. It's been crazy. And I just got a yes. And I've never felt, you know, saying more alive. So, yeah, just, yeah, don't quit. Like that, we out. Wu-Tang. Yeah. Wu-Tang. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. For sure. Um, I appreciate dope, y'all, man. man. This is amazing. CJ, I appreciate you for letting me come to your, your house, man, and Eat some good food. Yeah. Nah, hey, man, that, that, that the banana pudding you brought was slapping, though. Appreciate it. Man. Slapping, yo. Appreciate it. it. Huh? He made it. Your father <laughs> made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made it. You ain't know that? Bro, I didn't brought that drink. Huh? The, the, the tonight's joints? He, he did. No. He did. A, I did it for Jojo. He did it for Jojo, man. No. no. Our runtime is already. We already long, man. No. Hey, simplify, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man. Appreciate you, man. We out. Appreciate you, man. Peace.